Last year, Elegoo launched the Saturn IV Ultra. Packed full of features like a 12K screen, tilting print vat, built-in camera for time-lapse and detecting print fails, and a smart sensor for detecting low resin or debris in the printing vat. All things that thoroughly impressed me at the palatable price of 400 US dollars. This year they've refreshed this machine with a handful of thoughtful improvements and bundled it with the release of their new in-house slicing software, Elegoo Satellite. All for the enticing low price of $500. Today we'll take a closer look at the thoughtful changes they've made to an already great machine that ensure even the newbiest of resin users have a great printing experience. First up, as the name implies, the 10-inch screen has been bumped from 12K to 16K, boasting a resolution of 15,120 by 6,230. This cuts the pixel size down from 19 by 24 micrometer to 14 by 19, a 5 micrometer improvement. This will translate to sharper prints and finer details. And to put pixel size into perspective here, the first Saturn printer launched in 2020 had a pixel size of 50 micrometer. They've improved the AI camera and added a light to ensure your time lapses come out good, even in the darkest of print caves. Here's a little camera test with ambient lighting. and with my workshop lights off. More than enough detail for monitoring your prints. And for those of you that keep your resin machines in the garage, they've added a resin tank heater. In my opinion, resin temperature is one of the most common causes of printing error, and a built-in heater directly where you need it beats the in-chamber air heaters I've seen in the past, hands down. This works by having a heating element in the walls of the resin vat, and it connects using these pogo pins. When a print is started, the machine will warm the resin, moving the build plate up and down to agitate the resin, making sure it's evenly heated. Once the target temperature is reached, the print begins. Another small change here is the Wi-Fi antenna, which is now built right into the machine. Everything else about this machine remains the same, including the chip on board light source and Fresnel lens for even and powerful light output and distribution, the tilting print vat that not only speeds up printing but also reduces the amount of stress put on your part while releasing it from the PFA vat liner, the inclusion of an automated self-check mode to ensure all systems in the machine are working correctly, and the smart sensor that detects debris and low resin. Of course, we have to do some testing here, and for that I found a great model from my favorite video game, Rust. This one's from Balkmancer over on Gumroad and has tons of intricate details. I'll use this gray speed resin from Elegoo for this. Let's jump into the Elegoo satellite software and slice this model. Since I'm not a full-time resin user, I'll use the pre-supported files from Bulkmancer. These are hollowed out and have the appropriate holes, but all the tools to do this are in the satellite software. Of course, if you're a diehard Cheetubox fan, there's profiles for this machine in their software as well.
Once my parts are printed, I can toss them in the isopropyl bath to wash them. Elgu also refreshed their wash and cure station this year. This is the Mercury Plus version 3.0. The main upgrade here is the size and some mirrors placed under the rotating platform to bounce some UV light up under the turntable, ensuring all parts of your model get cured evenly. Once cured, I'll give them a quick filing to get rid of any support blisters. Next, I can set these parts up for a quick coat of primer, just enough to make my acrylic paint stick. Then I can try my absolute hardest to give this guy a decent paint job. Starting with a few base coats of solid colors, And to make things easier, I partially assembled this guy using some super glue. I gave him a layer of clear coat to seal in my base paint. This way, when I do a wipe off weathering wash, all my base layers stay put. Then adding some details, And finally, here's our little full AK kit, Rust Chad, ready to KOS some nakeds on the beach. I'm definitely no expert in painting models like this, but at a distance, he looks pretty good. This is by far one of my favorite models I've ever printed in resin, and it was super easy to achieve on the new Saturn IV. The ease of use upgrades from the original Saturn IV, like a swivel lid, auto leveling, single handed build plate removal, coupled with the upgrades to the screen resolution and the inclusion of a VAT heater, make this a very compelling machine. Special thanks to Elegu for sending it over for me to take a look at. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out more. As always, thanks for watching and happy printing.